Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. I am going to be doing a Target haul, planning haul. So before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. If you could give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. It would be greatly appreciated. So I think all you know about the post-its, um, if you put it in your printer, you can put designs on it and there's a certain way to do it. You need the template so you can line it up and all of that stuff. Well, here we go. Let's begin because this haul is life changing and cheap. It's cheaper. I think it's cheaper because if you feel like you're putting a the post-it note in, you could probably do four to six at a time, depending on the size. And then you have to use your ink. The posted notes are going to be like, I don't know, not as good as if they stood on the pack. I'll explain when it comes through. So let's begin with this haul. Okay, I'm so excited. Everybody's hauling this and I just, I had to jump on it. So I did pick up this, which is super cute. And because I don't work in the restaurant field right now. I can actually fix my hair and not wear a hat and, you know, look presentable. So, this was originally $8. My mom loved daisies, sunflowers, so it just reminds me of her. And, um, is this? Oh, no, it's just scrunched. I paid two forty dollars for it. Like, what? How cute is that? Just to look cute. No. It's to put your hair up, but then it looks super cute, though. So I figured I always wear like hair bands, but yet it doesn't look decorative, right? So with this, it's going to look decorative. That's the reason why I was saying about putting the hair up and the hat and all that. Do you see? Do you see? Look at this. It's ridiculous. Okay. So we have <laughs> never thought post-it would come out with a bag and look at how this is. This is the squares of the post-it. Right? But it's just a pouch. It's a pen pouch. And then, on, so on this side, it's this way. And you can feel like, I know you guys can't, but you can feel like the stitching here. If you flip the bag over, you don't have the stitching here, you have the stitching here. Or whatever you want to call this that they have. It looks like stitching, but it's not really stitching. And then you have it here. So they look like little post-its. I think it's super cute and a cute touch. It's noted which is by post-it. Definitely a, de a delightful pen pouch. It's the 3M post-it. So these were, I think, $5.99. It's not a bad deal for that. Let's start with this one. Now, the prices I can link below. List notes. Okay, so you know how you get list pads and all of that good stuff. This one you get a hundred at uh two point nine inch by five point seven inch. You have must you and you have sorry, I'm getting the hiccups. Five checklists, like five check marks. Uh might do and then remind me later. I think this is super cute. It's game changing, like look at and I don't know I, I don't want to take it out of the package until I'm ready to use it. So I don't know if it's sticky though. Be it's post-it, and usually post-its are sticky. So I have no idea, but I cannot wait to use it. So those are in blue. Um, let's go with the small ones. Uh, so I have a couple of these small ones. So these two are relatively the same, but different at the same time. So I'm going to show it to you um, this one first, and then I'll show you this one. You're going to be like, these are the same. They're really not. Okay? So in this one... These are the mini squares. So these are for your mini, um, not your mini, but like your planner. Let me get my planner out. Oh, I have it put away. Um, your monthly pages is what I'm trying to say. These should fit in your monthlies. You get four of 50 each, 50 each. Imagine printing 50 of these each. Okay, so yeah, you can fit a bunch on a page, right? But you're going to print 50 of these, 50 of these, 50 of these, and 50 of these. 
a total of 200 and it's 1.4 inch by 1.4 inch so i'm sure they fit the classic happy planner or you could just put them on the sidebar there's so much you could do with this you could put them in your weeklies your dailies anything and again meet note it by post it how cool is that these i know were 3.99 so in this order you have three do like if you have like something that like a due date or you know what's due or do like you need to do something so there's two different do's do like it's a due date and do like if you're about to do something and you have three checklist right on time you have three is that three no it just right on time it's just got like little colon and then a good thought and you could put like a little thought you thought of. I think that's like game changing here. Again, three ninety nine. So these are the mini square notes. I don't know if I said that in the last one. These are so I love the packaging as well. So in this order, and that's why I was saying like they're the same but not the same. It's in this order, and then in this order. So you have a bold look and then not a bold look, but everything else is gonna be different. Okay. So it's, this one is pretty much the same in this order. And you see the different in the font and the different in the font. This is bold. This is not. So we've seen this one. So this is like in a red color. So this one is ASAP or later. So you do it right away or you do it later. So where here is what's due and right on time. Like So you have what's due and then due. And here you have ASAP and then don't forget. It has like little colons too as well. So I'm figuring it might be like a time thing more of this and less of that so more of family time say that less of soda or sugar i don't know i'm just making up ideas okay so the next two are actually the same because i didn't know i picked up the same they're exactly the same look at how cute these are and these are again 1.4 by 1.4 Again, 1.4 by 1.4. And all of these are 50 each. 50, 50, 50, 50. Imagine printing all this. Like, this is ridiculous. So you have, and it could be cheaper printing. I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, if you pay $3.99 for this whole pack, you're paying, like, $3.99 for a post-it note, right? I'm sure you get a little stack or whatever. But they're not printed. But now they are. So just an idea. I don't know. To me, I think it's cheaper. You have Hydrate, which is 8. Now, the thing with this, it throws me off. There's only 7 days in a week, but they have 8 squares. So here's where you're going to put your habit, and you have 8 squares. That throws me off, because there's only Monday through Sunday, or Sunday through Saturday. Move, again, you have 8 squares, or 8 teardrops. To me, this looks like water. So if I see a teardrop, I'm thinking water, like a water drip. And then mood. So what's your mood? And then how are you feeling? And then you track it. So this is the three that threw me off. So I can just like put a, like a mile line or whatever. Habit. And then whatever. But this makes common sense. You need eight glasses of water. So that is that. And again 1.4 by 1.4. 1.4. I talk fast. And 200 pieces. The next one is, we're going to go to another big one. This I like. You have Monday through Sunday. Hello goals. So you can do like whatever your goal is and did you work on it. 100 sheets, 3.9 inch by 7.7 7 inch. Or if you're going by millimeter, 99 times 195. And then you have five. And then a little section for, you know, maybe notes and stuff. And then if you pop this in your personal planner, you may have to just cut a piece. I don't know, again, if it's sticky. I don't really want to open it, though, <laughs> to be honest with you. Even though it looks like somebody... No, they didn't try it. It was the paper. Like cardboard or something. But yeah, so there's that. I am in love with this. I hope they keep this line going. So the next two are the same, but different colors. Uh, mini notes dual so you have lined and checklist style lined two 50 inch 50 inch 50 each total 100 so 1.4 inch 
by 2.8 inch. So sidebar, I guess. So you have pink and orange, yellow or a greenish color and teal. I think this is such a game changer here. Like I really do. These were, I think, $3.99 as well. Okay, so we have round notes. I didn't see the purple one they had, and that was the monthly tracker, I believe. I didn't see that. There was two I didn't see. They do have pens. Well, actually, I think it's markers. And I guess it's for writing on here or whatever. But this is regular paper, so you'll be able to write with pretty much anything. Round notes, so you can put, like, whatever your... Like, if you have an appointment, emergency appointment, you want to stick it on your monthly, stick it on your weekly, whatever. A hundred... 2.9 by 2.9 and again it's all the noted I am noted that that's a beautiful line and last but not least in the post-its and this is what I was talking about you get a little um, hundred sheets but now they are printed with lines now you know everybody's been printing these out like you can print this out put your title and do what you need to do right so it's a 2.9 by 2.8, which throws it off a little bit. Because some of these are like 2.9s. Oh no, these are 2.8s. Which is weird. 2.8 is this way. 2.9 must be this way. Or vice versa, whatever. But yeah, so it's the little tracker. Like you can, not a tracker, like listing. List it out. If you have to buy something, did you buy it? Whatever. Whatever you need. 100 of them. Like, ugh, really? I have notes for days. Okay, and last but not least, because you can't go home without a planner. And it's not really a planner. It's like an agenda. Mm. It's more like a fancy book. It's like how, like, you would be seriously totally organized in this thing. Like, gold, rose gold uh, pages. Look at this. Rose gold what are these, grommets, I think? Or not grommets, um... What do you call these little edges? Like, they're metal edges, but I don't know what you call them. This is by the Russell and Hazel. Russell and Hazel Fundamentals. Case-bound journal. So you have 200 ruled... I think that's a softbound. 200 ruled pages. So you're thinking just ruled pages, that's it. It's a notebook, that's it. No. This is twelve ninety nine. Elastic closure, bam. Gusset pocket. I'll show you in a second. So this is five, nine. Okay, so it's a five nine, like the tenth. So five and nine tenth inch by eight and one third inch, and then again by centimeters, fifteen centimeters by twenty one point two centimeters. This is the Russell and Hazel fundamentals let's do a little quick flip because you think it says 200 rule line pages like ruled pages not rule lined ruled pages okay let's let's see what's in here I don't know if you guys and it has the Russell and Hazel it has a cute little skinny ribbon and there is your elastic so pretty but I love the corners and they only do it on these corners very pretty okay so let's I'm going to move this back into the bag so we can focus on the planner. Okay. Er, let me not give it away. The ruled pages. Okay. So as we open it up, this here is vellum. That's what this is. It's vellum. Heavy duty vellum. Love it. I love the inside. It's not plain. It's not gray. Whatever. Your first page is, okay, so you have that, like, this I don't like when they do that first page. I don't like that. It says Russell Hazel, and that's all planners that do that, unless you're, like, the happy planner, Aaron Condren. Things that are not book-bound like this, they do that, too. Um, this notebook belongs to. So you think it's a notebook, right? So here it says, our philosophy is simple. Add life to your work. And then a notebook is a place for words of importance. Quick ideas, sketches that inspire. Moments to be captured. Let that happen here. So that's a key right here. right? So you have a start date. When are you going to start this journal, basically? When are you going to start your 
uh, your life into this book. So you either circle it, highlight it, mile liner, whatever you do. Let me lift this up because I'm going to lift the book up and I don't want you to miss the top half. Ooh, way too much. Okay. There you go. And if it's whitewashed, I think. That's how they say it, whitewashed, but we're going to fix that right now. I'm going to turn down the second. If I could get in here. I don't know why I did the ring light like that. I want to do a little bit more organizing in here. So, I think you could be able to see better now. Hopefully. Okay, so I'm going to lift it up anyway. So again, your start date, the month, and then you write it here. What you're going to start on. The contents, you have two like two sections of lines. Goals, you have five with a checklist if you completed it. Love that. Okay. Then, you have daily pages. Like, what? You have daily pages. January through December, so all of it's going to stay the same on every single page. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it's going to be. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it, but it's going to be 1 through 31 on every single page. They are not going to do 1 through 28. They're not going to, because they don't know when you're going to start this. It's an undated, whatever you want to call this. To me, this is going to be my focus, what I'm going to focus on in the day. It could be a quote. It could be anything. It could be my scripture up on top. It could be like my daily pages, like, you know, a to-do list. It could be, um food log, anything. It could be anything you want it to be. And they're dot grid lines. So they're dot grid lines. So if you're drawing something out, you have dot grid lines. So that is awesome. And again, look at the rose gold pages. Like, those are gorgeous. And that's all it is. That's, that's exactly what you're getting. So when you get to the back, um, so here's like the endings and I thought they were numbered, but they're like a little plus sign at the bottom. So I don't know what that means. And then you have another page of it. And again, the plus sign is only on this side, but not on that side. So I don't understand what that means. So well, let's get to the further back. Cause I was like showing you the back pages. Okay. So here we go. This is the last page for it. And again, it's double-sided. It is stitched, it looks like, in some spots. It could be glue-bound. And then you have, yeah, it looks glue-bound. And then you have that. And you have a note section. This is just blank, shiny. And then this is your back cover for the inside. Loving the cover part inside. And then you have your faceted pocket, which is decent. Look at this. It opens up pretty big. And then I showed you the ribbon at first, but let's show you. It's like a little pink ribbon. I don't never use the ribbon. And then I've shown you the back. I think it's so cute. It's like, look at how slim and... If you were to use stickers, I'm sure this is going to bulk up. It's a soft bone, but like with a little bit more structure. But I'm sure if you use like stickers and stuff, yeah, you're going to bulk this up. But this to me just looks elegant when you're going somewhere and you're like, oh, I got my planner with me or I got my daily pages. I want to do a little bit of journaling or I want to do a little bit of this or that, you know, like a little to-do list or, you know, whatever your case may be. If you want to focus on your food log, focus on your health, focus on anything, you have it here. And no, they're not sponsoring. But if you would like to, Russell and Hazel, I am here for you. It's Case Bound Journal. I love this thing. It's so super cute, elegant to put on your desk, anything. So, yeah, that is my haul, haul, my haul. There is another haul, but I kept it separate because, one, this would be very long. And, two, I wanted to focus on the planning aspect of my haul. Like, look at this. Like, this just came out. I don't know how long ago. So 2022, so they just came out and they came back, I think, for not came back, but they came out for their this isn't a haul video for planning, but you know, you have to look good when you're doing your planning 
But they just, I think, brought this out for the back to school, I'm assuming, because that's, you know, it's in the aisle, and it's on an end cap. Um, if you go on Target, and you, you know, if you want to take a UPC, right here, or just put in Noted by Post-it, and everything should come up. And again, the purple one was not at my store, and it's about... Okay, so it's like a regular, like this. I think it's like this, and then it has like the monthly. I haven't seen that one in the store, but I didn't even know they had all of these. Like, come on now. I did not know they had these. I knew they had a few of these things, because um, I've watched, what's her name? Tina Bopper 100. She was showing it, and I was like, I need that. I need that in my life. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. Let me know which one is your favorite. And do you buy post-its or do you use sticky notes into your planner? And if you do, do you print them yourself or do you just like, do you have it like this or like that? I do have the template and I do have, you know, sticky notes that I did print on. It's just a little nerve-wracking sticking a little sticky note on a piece of paper and sending it through when I got this right now. But when it's over, I'll probably have to go back to it. But again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.